What's up, folks? We're here on Friday, last day of the week. Congrats for making it through week one of online learning, or week two, I guess, but week one of quarter four. Let's do it. Okay, so we have a song. It's there, at least you just got to click on it. Okay, we have our agenda. Friday, I will take advantage of this unique opportunity. I said it once this week, I'll say it twice. This is a unique opportunity uh, to learn lots of things. You usually can't be online in class looking up your personal interests. If you can finish your work early online, you totally can explore a new habit, read a book, lots of them are free online, follow a YouTube series, learn about the stock market, learn about meditation, learn about really anything. Maybe uh, find out a country you've always wanted to travel to and just learn everything you can about that country. Watch YouTube videos on it, you know? Research colleges you wanna to go to in the future. Okay, uh, by the end of the day, students will complete a formal geography evaluation, fun, in order to assess their knowledge of world geography and will participate in an end of week writing reflection to track current thoughts and perspectives. Okay, so you can go to this uh, pen video. Do you want to learn to draw professional and impressive artwork from scratch that will blow people's minds? I'm Scott Harris. Look at that. Maybe you could learn um, how to draw. Take a drawing class or free one online. There's lots of cool stuff. In 1740, we've been preparing tomorrow's leaders. Cool. All right. So really fun video. And the uh, question of the day really just asks you about uh, the video itself. So here is the question of the day. In one word, how would you describe your first week back at Legacy? Again, we were trying to avoid words like basic, good, fun, eh, interesting, fantastic, marvelous, unexpected, unprecedented, right? Those are more of the words we're looking for to sophisticate, uh, to have sophisticated vocabulary, okay? All right, and so the majority of today's work is you'll scroll down, complete these questions, and then open this tab right here. Do not open any other tabs. So you're gonna hit start quiz. There are 196 registered countries. Let's see how many of them I can get. Okay, I won't do it for 14 minutes, but okay. I know USA, perfect. I know Canada, good, okay. I know, hmm, Europe. What, why isn't Europe? Oh, right, because Europe's a continent. I'm just looking for one of the 196 countries. Okay, nice. Running out of time. Oh, okay. There's different strategies to this. Um, I try to rush North and South America as much as I can. because that's the area of the world I know most about. And so I zoom in, I'm still missing two countries and these islands right here. Hmm. I zoom in here, I'm still missing these. Oh, hmm. I'm blanking on these right now, but I see I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna go over here and see what I can get in the other areas of the world and so on and so on, right? You do this test, see who can get all of these. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot to learn about geography and so do lots of us. So after you take this test, <laughs> give up. Oh my gosh, 21 out of 196, that's an awful score, oh my goodness. But anyway, you're going to come back here to week one. 
and I want you to give a very honest assessment of out of 196, how many did you get? So um, you went through and did it. Oh my gosh, I only got 21. What what a silly person. And then the next step here is if you scroll down, it'll actually show you uh, based off of the regions or the continents of the world, how well you did. Now, sometimes this is seen as the continent of Central America, but it, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's gonna be part of uh, North America, right? So, Paraguay, Uruguay, okay, fair enough. Now, I can see from this list that I know a lot about North America and South America, which makes sense because that's where you know I'm interested in traveling, so and that's where I live, so that you know makes sense. But what I'm going to do is go down and type in how many of these I got correct. So, uh, just go ahead and count in green how many how many you got. So for South, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of 14. So I'm gonna to go to South America and type in uh, eight. Okay. Uh, eight. And so on and so on, sort of uh, all the way down the list. Okay. Then after you do that, there's uh, three questions right here, um, which sort of connects it to the learning through the entire week. So the following continents we tracked today, which one did you know the most and least about? So I knew the most about South America, and I knew the least about Africa. So that's what I'm going to write. I knew the most about South America, the least about Africa. Um, then for which continent is most closely associated with your cultural identity? Well, I guess I could say North America because I'm mostly American, but what we're looking here is specifically the country you mentioned in box 1A on Wednesday cultural identity. Where are you from? Where are your parents from? Where are your grandparents or ancestors from? So I'd actually say Poland. And then which of the following continents do you think has been most impacted by imperialism? Hmm. Oh, gosh. Well, I know lots of them have. I know. Hmm. That's a really interesting question. I think they all have. But I'm going to say Africa because I know a lot about African diaspora and the slave trade. And I know that that's one of the you know, most important events of human history. This just period is that uh, that event. So or the ongoing event. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, then end of the week reflection. This is a basic 15 minute reflection. It asks, how might the cultural identity activity, veil of ignorance and imperialism be connected? Okay, we've done a lot this week. Your cultural identity, the veil of ignorance and the idea of imperialism, they're all connected. And the main point of this nine weeks, 10 weeks is figuring out how these things are connected and, and what they mean. What does that interaction mean? So I'm gonna leave you all to this. Uh, I want you to really critically assess and critically think about this. Um, I'm looking for a minimum of 75 words. This is a writing heavy class because it's a thinking heavy class and writing is thinking. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Remember, this is due on Saturday. Well, it's due on Friday, but it's going to be graded on Saturday. So make sure you have it ready to go by then. Okay. Love y'all. See ya and have a great weekend.